Hello, my name is Raquel Sanchez. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Business Organization, a member of the Research Center and Production Management and Engineering at the Universitat Politécnica de Valencia. And in this presentation, which is part of the Business Continuity Managers Training Platform project that is funded by the European Union, I will explain the lack of organizational resilience triggered by the occurrence of potential disruptive events. The learning outputs of this presentation are focused on characterizing the triggers for the lack of organizational resilience and identifying the different elements of disruptions. The presentation is structured as follows. Firstly, there is an introduction to show why it's so important to characterize the triggers for the lack of resilience in these times. The second section is focused on its characterization to finish with the conclusions. Currently, organizations are exposed to several negative events such as fires, meteorological disasters, earthquakes, pandemics, wars, to mention a few. For this reason, it is very important for organizations to have the ability to anticipate disruptive events and recover from them in a way that ad adapts to new circumstances efficiently. To do so, it's vital to characterize the events that lead to a lack of resilience. To do so, a disruption is divided into the source of disruption, that in turn it's characterized by the level and origin where the disruption happens. The second element is the disruptive event per se, which is the situation that disrupts the normal operation. And finally, the third element that involves the consequences of such disruptive event occurrence. The source of disruption is classified by the level in which the disruptive event occurs, considering the intra-organizational level in which the disruptive event is originated within the organization, the second level, the inter-organizational one that encompasses all the entities in the supply networks, and the last level that has been coined as extra-organizational level in which the source of disruption can be found in any entity outside the supply network under study. The sources of disruption can be classified according to their origin considering 11 origins as the most important ones. Procurement, customers, distribution, energy, financial issues, environment, inventory, legislation, production, social aspects and technology are these 11 origins. The second element of the characterization of the triggers of the lack of organizational resilience is the disruptive event per se. There are many terms that are used synonymously, for example, disruption, event, risk, crisis, interruption, uncertainty, to mention a few. However, regardless of which term is used, a disruptive event is a predictable or unpredictable situation that alters the normal level of operation of an enterprise having a negative impact on it. The last element of the disruption characterization is the consequences of a disruptive event that are the effect on the business when the event occurs. In the figure, it can be seen how two companies, A and B, which have been affected by a disruptive event, behave. The negative consequences for firm B are greater than for firm A, as B's performance decreases more abruptly, although it seems that company B will recover sooner than company A. Therefore, the consequences of a disruptive event must be analyzed in detail, taking into account not only the negative effect of the performance drop, but also other factors such as the recovery capacity. 
Based on this characterization framework, it is worth mentioning how important it is to know in detail the potential disruptive events affecting organization, to define the proper action to be implemented, to identify in advance the potential occurrence of the disruptive events and when its occurrence is inevitable to recover efficiently building resilient organizations. And with the conclusion and scientific references, this presentation is finished. Thank you very much for your attention.